Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Bill and in today's video, we are going to install some custom upfitter switches into the F-150. Now, I've been looking for a way to put some upfitter switches in here. I have some things that I want to put some lights up and stuff in here, but haven't figured out how I wanted to do the switches. I didn't want a bunch of random switches just all over the all over the place. I've been looking at it. I know there's you can uh, two fit a Raptor one would fit in here or an F two fifty one would to have the overhead switches here, but it would also have the controls for a sunroof which I don't have. So it would look weird having sunroof switches without a sunroof. So I've been looking around and I came across this guy called Custom Effects. Or, well, his name is Brett, but he runs a small company called Custom Effects. And he custom makes these switch plates, runs, does all the wiring and everything. He'll laser engrave anything you want on there. Um, and he, it's super awesome. I've looked at him, I've seen it, people that have installed it, heard great things. So I got in touch with Brett and I ordered a set of these upfitter switches. And where they go, if you don't notice, this shape fits this shape right here perfectly. So what we need to do is pull this panel down. We're gonna put this in place of this mesh and then run the wire over down the A pillar um, and to where we can connect it later on when we get our different things. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into it and get this installed. All right, so this should be easy enough. It should just pull down, have a couple of snaps in there. I was a little nervous. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I don't wanna break anything. Yeah, I don't want this flopping around and falling down and stuff on me. All right, there's this snap, this snap. It feels like there's another one right about here all right another one in the front and it pulls down and we just have just the one plug here oh. then we got two more plugs up in the front and again this is without uh this is xlt model doesn't have the sunroof doesn't have uh the sensors or anything in there it's pretty simple. It's just these three switch or plugs, looks like. And like that, it falls out. So we can set our sunglasses up there. Got this piece out, and we need to take out this plastic right here and replace it with our switch panel. So that mesh is just held in here with these clips. mesh comes out. Now there is some stuff we will have to clear out of there. All right, so we're gonna have to take these supports out. Should be able to just cut it with fresh razor. Got these pieces cut out. There's a couple spots where these nuts are gonna be up against here that we got to make room for. So let's we'll go ahead and run this wire in there. Run that through. We are a good fit, except for sitting flush on the bottom, not sitting flush on the top. And that's because we've got to trim back this plastic here a little bit. All right, so I got little tabs trimmed out there now. Now I did include two screws to put in these corners, which actually do have holes on the back side. So we just got a small screw here. It's gonna go through. All right, so that looks like a T10. Let me get that in. And we got a washer. And a nut with the other screw in here. 
and tighten those down and we should be good to go just like that and there we go i could see a little bit of light coming through here at the top edge where i trimmed that plastic back a bit but once that's installed and has darkness back behind it i don't think that'll be noticeable other than that i mean fits in there perfectly it's nice and snug now these switches this one is a on off you have to hold it to be on so if maybe an air horn or something like that were to be installed this would be the perfect switch for that and then these other three are push on once for on off once again for off and all three or all four have a blue LED ring light around them. So this is ready to be installed. But as you can tell, we have a rather large amount of wire to run. So when I, whenever I do get the accessories that require these switches, I'll have this all set up from wired. And all I have to do is look here and everything is already color coded they have power in power out all these are per marked you got ground so yeah this is switch three switch four switch one switch two so every like i said everything's already connected to the switches it's already run they did a really nice job of know sealing everything up and then marking everything now i'm just going to go ahead get the a pillar off and then we can pull the wiring through there pull to get this exposed there's actually two bolt covers in the handle should just snap out and then that is i'm going to guess a 12 millimeter all right, so I was wrong, it's a 10 mil. I should uh, have my toolbox revoked for at least a week for not recognizing that as a 10 mil, but <laughs> we'll just. Uh, there's the bolt. Got those two bolts out. Oh. And that just pulls out like that. That came out, I thought there was going to be some clips. There's one clips here, one clip here. Now, we probably don't want to trigger the airbags or anything, but then we have just the tweeter down here with a connection, connector. Uh, if you ever need to change out your tweeter that's how you do it also but you can set that to the side i'm just going to go ahead tape these all together for right now so i had taped them all together that way you can feed them through all right i'm just going to go ahead and feed that whole thing through here Now, get everything pushed out of the way. All right, change of plans. tried to run the wire through here and out but this was blocking the front from snapping shut looks like if I go straight up and then across I'll be able to get do the same thing but it won't be interfering with anything so let me give this another shot All right, now we got the wire run up straight, so that should 
fit everything better. There we go. And now that wire's not running over top of there, it's all buttoned up. And if you didn't even realize those buttons were there, you wouldn't know to look for them. They don't stick down like the, the uh, stock ones do, but I think they look awesome. And this panel just snaps out. Make that easier. So then just feed it through. And it's gonna run all this back behind those clips. Slide this into place. Now we got the bolts in, just flip that around, snap it into place. Same for this, just, now I have a crap ton of extra wire down here. I'm just gonna wrap this up, zip tie it up out of the way. And now whenever I am ready to uh, wire in, some extra accessories. I can just tap into this wiring and I'll tap into those switches up there. Hopefully that gives you an idea of how these switches work. I will follow up again when I have the accessories to actually install along with them. Uh, but I wanted to get this installed now that, you know, it's in there. It looks super awesome, I think. Yeah, definitely the best looking switches I've seen. Uh, it's the guy, he's got a channel on YouTube, uh, Custom Effects. I'll go ahead and link to his channel down in the uh, description down below. If you're interested in getting something like this made, he'll make it for you. Uh, super awesome guy. Great to work with. I love to support people that are, you know, doing their thing. So definitely shout out to to brett and for making this and like i said i'll put his information down in the description down below this isn't sponsored or anything i just enjoy helping support people that are doing things they're passionate about and making things work for themselves so with that with that i hope that you enjoyed the video if so give it a thumbs up if not go ahead and give it a thumbs down if you would like to see more videos like this in the future, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will see you next time.